That's where we're at as a culture. Why? Because what we do with our body has nothing to do with our person, has nothing to do with our identity. But the reality is the Bible comes along and goes, no, 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 your mind, your psychology is connected. We're psychosomatic creatures. Psycho meaning uh, soul, mind. Somatic is a Greek word for body. Psychologists talk about the fact that we are an integration, that these things are always exchanging for one another. Think about it this way. Uh, use an analogy of food. If we sat our kids down and said, listen, uh, no big deal. You can do whatever you want in regard to food. Uh, it's, it's just meant for your pleasure. It's just meant uh, for what tastes good and whatever. So do whatever you want with it. You, can, you know, you just broccoli, whatever. It's, 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 it is, it's, it's subjective, honey. Whatever you like to do, whatever your personal preference. If a kid did that, my daughter would be like, what? Okay, sweet. It's pizza, it's ice cream, hot dogs. That's it, done. Because what, what did I do? I removed food from nutrition. I didn't talk about any form of your body at all. I just said, food is a personal choice. Food is all about you. Food is subjective. Food is just your identity. It's about you. And I never rooted it in any kind of, but the reality is this, math is not socially constructed. The laws of science are not socially constructed. We can't pretend that this doesn't exist and simply exist in this world. And here's fundamentally what had happened in Corinth and what has happened in the modern world.